Hello and welcome to my tutorial on randomizing an array in the C language without having any numbers repeating itself. I've already started by including these header files and the main function with a catch call. Uh, we're going to start off by including some variables. int card 13 int i, j, and temp. This is our array. Uh, we're going to just do uh, a standard deck of cards, 1 to 13, ace to thir or ace to king, and we're going to randomize those. So first, after declaring our variables, we need to call our random function. We're going to use srand time null and two close brackets. So what this will do is it uses the time from the system clock um, on the computer we have to use this header file right here to include this um, and it helps us generate random numbers it uses a variable time that changes constantly and so our program is never predictable if we had a number like four it would randomize the numbers but every time we compiled and run this program um, it would be in the same order so say we had seven two three five uh, you ran it again, it would be 7235. So we want a variable that always is constantly changing, and that's why we use the time variable. So after we do that, we need a simple for loop. i equals i equals 0, i less than 13, and i increases by 1 each time. We don't need any uh, brackets here because it's only one piece of code, and that is card i equals i plus 1. So what this will do is it'll fill our array from numbers 1 to 13. If we had i without the, the plus 1, it would be 0 to 12. And we don't want that because uh, no deck of cards has a, a 0 spot. So we're going to copy this loop again, paste it down here, and use a printf statement. Percent %d card i and what this is going to do is it's going to show us our array hopefully there's no errors and no so we have 1 to 13 here it's not very visible so what we'll do is we'll put two spaces here so there you go you can see 1 to 13 so now what we're going to do is we're going to just jumble the one the numbers that we have already. So we're going to take 12 and stick it over here, and 2 and stick it over there, and, and this is going to be done randomly. Uh, so this is the function that we're going to write. We're going to need this loop here. And we're going to need some brackets because this takes a bit of code. Uh, I'll, I'll write it first and then explain it after. So j equals rand modulus 12 plus 1 temp equals card i card i equals card j and card j equals whatever is in temp So what this does is it assigns J a random number. So let's just say it gives it a number of five. Um, what happens is temp is assigned whatever is in card I. So it, right now we have zero. Um, so it's going to take number one. So temp equals number one. Uh, card I now equals the random number that was in J. Or sorry, not the random number, but the random array spot. So it takes whatever is in card J, meaning spot five, and puts it in card I. Uh, card j then equals temp which is one and it does this thirteen times and totally just jumbles what we have and turns it into uh, a random order of non-sequential numbers so to view this again we can just copy this exact same loop go to the bottom here also we need just a divider just something like that don't forget your new lines and once we run this, hopefully it'll be in a random order. Perfect. So as you guys can see, 
1 to 13, and uh, now it's random. We can run this again and it'll be totally different. As you can see, now we have 11, 13, 7, and 6. Let's just run that one more time. Now we have 13, 8, 5, 4, 10. So it's totally random. And uh, we haven't used any numbers that haven't been in there. So, you know, we're not pulling out random numbers from anywhere. We're using the numbers that we have and just rearranging where it goes. So 9 goes here, 10 goes over here, 11 goes over there, and, and it just randomizes it. So to make it look more like a deck of cards, we're going to replace 11 and 12, 13, and 1 with their card numbers, which is ace, you know, jack, queen, and king. So how we do that is we just modify this loop right here. We're going to use a switch statement. And the case is a variable, case i. Not sorry, case i, card i. Getting ahead of myself. So case one is a printf statement, and then it's going to be space space ace. The reason why I have space space here is because that's what we have when we're printing up here. So just for a visual, so everything looks nice and neat, and a break. Now we can just copy this code and paste it four times. For some reason my tabbing is not right, but uh, that's okay. So we'll change case 1 to case 11. Let's put a space between these. Case 12 and case 13. So ace is 1, um, jack is 11, queen is 12, and king is 13. So now when we print this, hopefully every number that is 1, 13, 12, and 11 will have these assigned to them. We also need to write a default for all the other ones that we haven't used here. So we can just copy this print statement here. Put that right there. Hopefully there's no errors. And no, there's not. Perfect. So now we have king, queen, ace, and jack. So as you can see, uh, again it's totally randomized and uh, now we have king, jack, and all the other ones replacing 13 and uh, 11 and a 1. So this concludes the tutorial on randomizing an array without having any numbers repeating itself. Um, I just want to let you guys know that to to randomize an array it's very easy if you, if you don't care about uh, repeating numbers. All you have to do is just take this right here and put it in this loop right here in replace of that and then print it and you'll have random numbers. Uh, you run the chance of you know having repeating random numbers, so two nines or whatever. Um, in some cases you might want that, in some cases you might not. Um, so this is how you do it without having any numbers repeating itself. Check out my website for more tutorials at seanharv.com. We'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.